everyone, Christine here to make a video. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys finally my Miro doll Lily. I have talked about her on a couple of my videos and never shown her before. And it's not because I don't like her or something, it's just that she's not with my SD dolls so I sometimes forget that she's there. <laughs> so I don't normally collect MSD size dolls but I decided that um, I wanted to get more MSD size dolls, so I figured I'd go ahead and just do a video on a body review for her and also try on some of the clothing that I've been ordering for her size. That way you guys can see her body and see the kind of clothing that she can wear because she is a slim MSD. Uh, so there's going to be deli nudity. Uh, warning now, because after this I'm going to take off this cute little thing I made. <laughs> Alright, I gave plenty of time. Sufficient time! Alright, so here she is. I just finished cleaning her off because she had some black clothing on and it kind of stained her. So, yeah. Um, this is their, I believe, old MSD size body. The Miro doll body. Um, they have three bodies in total. One of them was banned from DOA. And then there's this old body, and then a newer body that wasn't banned on DOA, so I have the oldest one. And I actually got it, she was one of my first dolls. So, I got her when I ordered my Miro Doll Wind. So, just like most dolls, she has the head cap that comes off, not the face plate. And this is what the inside looks like. I did not have to restring her when I got her, she was pretty tight. So, she's, you know, like 10 months old or whatever. And I have not strung her. I haven't done anything to her at all. <laughs> so here are her kind of kicky legs because, like I said, she's a little. She was a little tight. She's gotten better. Um, she can hold poses pretty well. So the hands don't keep a pose like the actual hand itself because of the way that the joints are. But as you can see, the hand or the arm itself does keep pretty decent poses. She is double jointed, as you can see here. She has this little peanut in her, oh it's dirty, I guess I didn't clean in there, but uh, she has that one little peanut and it lets her sort of touch her face. Let me see if I can do it. No, I can't get it done, but <laughs> there we go. So she can touch her face for the most part. Uh, the problem with Mirodol, uh, the company itself does not make hooks for their hands so they don't really stay in any position. I guess if I bought S hooks for her then it would be a little better. Um, I didn't get to pick a bust size. I think this is the only size for this particular MSD doll. She has the two joints in the torso. So this is the first joint and it has a really large range. As you can see, and it keeps the poses. I don't have any suading or anything, so I can imagine it would be a lot better if um, I suaded her. But as you can see, she can keep these poses pretty well. So, of course, that doesn't look very pretty, but with clothes on, you wouldn't be able to tell. And see, she she can do some pretty awesome posing. And I don't have any other MSD dolls to you know, compare to, but that's pretty good. I, I'm not sure many fees can do this. Um, so yeah. Now, she can do like a really nice slouching pose, like that, and still look a little bit up, but not too much. So this is her head motion. It doesn't go up much, but it goes down a pretty decent amount. Um, she can do sort of side to sides, and again, this is all without suading, so pretty much out of the box, this would be what she'd be like. Um, here's what the inside of this bottom torso piece looks like. That's where her hips are. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then here are these joints right here where her thighs are. I don't really understand what the 
purpose of this mobility joint is because I can't actually keep this leg in that position. There's no like ledge or anything. So, I mean, it sort of stays, not really. Um, and she's single jointed in the knees. So yeah, but when I first got her, I was able to stand her up on one leg without any clothes on, and with clothes on, it's even easier. I don't think she'll do it now. She's been in a sitting pose for quite some time because I don't play with her, but uh, let's see if she'll do it. No. Nope. <laughs> Can I even get her to stand? I might be able to. Of course, she's on top of like this soft thing, so. Will you stand for me? There we go. So yeah, she stands all right. She stands better on the floor and she definitely stands better with shoes on. I'm gonna take this off now. I'm trying to be festive, okay? <laughs> so yeah, her feet, Miro doll feet, um, have an S hook in them, as you see here. But they still don't have a very good range of motion. So here's the up, here is down, and then of course there's a lot of side to side like this, but not much side, if any, going this way. Yeah. Let's see, here is her back. There we go. And this is her profile, her side. what she looks like from the side so yeah she's a cute little body she's considered a slim MSD uh, I've bought mini feet clothes for her before uh, slim MSD size and everything fits her but I bought this new stuff this is from Debbie Doodal which I just did another video with this clothing a moment ago and I also got some from Mobinjo or Mobinjo I'm probably butchering it but another Etsy shop that's one of my two cats, the one that's obviously not blind. So I'm going to start with this, and then I'm going to put on the other outfit. And let's see what they look like. Um, so that you know, if you end up getting a Mero doll Lily, you'll know what clothes fits her and how it looks. So I'm going to put her hands up. I actually haven't tried any of this clothes on her yet, so I will find out too if they fit. If they don't, we will find out together. Um, it, she's supposed to be able to wear all the same clothes as a mini fee, so everything should fit. That was my cat sneezing. Okay, so she's bowing. Thank you, thank you. This is what this looks like on her. Uh, seems like I could have gone with some bigger chest for this outfit, but it still looks really cute. Hmm, if I tighten it up a little, it might actually look better. There we go. So that's what that looks like. She's probably wondering why she's bald right now, but that's because it's easier to take off her clothes. So yeah, this outfit looks pretty cute on her, actually. I might leave this one on her. Let me see if I can pull it down. That's actually easier. Ah. And now we're going to try on a shirt from Mobinjo, Mobinjo. If you know how to pronounce this word, let me know. I got this on her Instagram, so it looks like this. Ah! Ah! <laughs> like this on the back. Um, I guess I'm going to put it over her. Actually, I'm going to have to take her head off for this because this is pretty small. It's pretty tiny. Mm. I should have gotten something to... Oh, that's not going to work. You know what? We're not going to do that. We're just going to put it right over her head and hope that it fits. Let's see. Will it fit? Maybe. Oh, we're going to try. And the reason why we're going to try is because this mess 
I don't know if I want to work with that. Mm. I'm not going to get her head back on if I do that. We're going to try. Together, we will find out if this will work. And if it doesn't, then I'll have to take the head off. But I really don't want to, so... And this face-up is old, so if I mess it up, I probably don't care. Because I'll just do it again. Plus, in my last video, you probably saw that I got like 20 million eyelashes. She actually has on human eyelashes because at the time, I didn't know what I was doing. And I thought those weren't good enough. So she's got some really big eyes. And some humongous eyelashes. That's not going to focus, is it? <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to... Moment of truth! I wonder if I'm going to break the shirt. <laughs> I look like an idiot. Uh, the shirt's giving birth to a head. <laughs> Okay, oh my gosh, I did it! Yes! I did it. Yes, I'm an adult. I know it's hard to believe. If some of you fast forwarded all that, good job. Good job. That's what that looks like. And now we know that you don't have to do the head removal to get these stretchy shirts on. Yeah. Now the pants that I have, oh, they don't really match. But I thought this looked okay together, but now, you know, it's not Halloween anymore. And even though Nightmare Before Christmas is about Christmas, we're going to go with this little outfit. Now, these are also mini fee size. Um, she's supposed to be 44 centimeters, which is bigger than a mini fee, but it doesn't, I, don't, I mean, I don't have one to compare, so I don't know. But uh, these. This should fit fine. You can tell I don't have a child and I've never had to clothe anything but dolls. Pretty sure that other people do this with like a lot of care. And I'm just like, ugh, get it on. This is probably gonna look pretty decent. Even though it doesn't match at all. I have black pants somewhere, but I wanted to try on the new clothes I got. Yeah, yeah, these are actually really long. Hmm, interesting, because I could have sworn she's 44 centimeters. But if not, then she's probably 41. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Even, you know, bald. But I have uh, her wig over here. Ugh. How does she look, guys? Huh? And now she's gonna sit on her cute little chair. Um, this is like a My Life or something saucer chair that you can get on Amazon and Target and some other places. There you go, see? Now she looks uh, pretty set up. I might just leave her in that outfit. All right, so uh, I think I pretty much said everything I wanted to about this body. I think it's pretty decent other than the, the whole hands not moving too much. And, you know, the single jointed knees, I would have liked double jointed. That hurt something. But other than that, I actually really like this Miro doll. I just don't play with her much because I usually like SD-sized dolls. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. Bye.